In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Flexbox in the Divi Builder. Now, the Divi Builder is powerful, but you can make it even more powerful by using Flexbox because this allows you to build complex layouts. Okay, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so over here, I'm on my blank website. So I'm just going to go in and add a single column like that. And in this column, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to select my module. And then over here, I'm just going to choose my image that is already in my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and click upload image. Okay, great. I'm going to save. Next, I'm going to come in here and add another module, but this time this is going to be a text module. Go ahead and select it. And I'm just going to make the first line here a title. So I'm going to highlight this text, set this to heading two, and then save. Okay, so what I've done quickly here is I've gone in and added two modules inside a column. So normally, if I wanted these side by side, I would need to have two columns. And I'll show you in a moment how I would achieve that. So what you want to do if you want to have these two side by side is to come over here into your row settings. Next, you want to go into this row because this is what contains these two elements. Next, you want to come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and you want to go into the main element and then activate display flex. So now you can see that these two are now side by side. So now let's say we want to add some spacing between our columns. All you have to do is to go back, go into our column here, advanced, and the CSS code we need to use is column gap, and then you can add your specific size. So let's say you want to use 30. You can see now that this is now adding your spacing between the columns. So pretty much that's looking good. But here's the problem. If we try to view this in a um, different device, this is not going to look great. So let me show you quickly what this is going to look like. So now I'm on the mobile device and you can see here, okay, it's not too bad, but when we go to our mobile, we notice that our two columns are just next to each other, all squished up. So what we want to do now is for this to look much, much better in mobile devices. So I'm going to show you now what we can do in these views. So again, I'm going to go back into my row settings. I'm going to go into my uh, row here and then go to advanced custom CSS. But this time I'm going to hover over here and just make sure that I choose the right um, view. So this time I want to target the tablet. So this time I'm going to say flex direction and I'm going to set this to vertical and then add my column. Okay. And now you can see that this has now been fixed and this now is on the top, which is great. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to come over here to the phone as well and do the same thing. But I know by default it has chosen that, but I can just go in and paste it again like that and then save. So now, when we take a look at this, all we've done is used one column. So now let me show you how you would do this without using Flexbox. So let's go back in and let me show you. So if I come here, I'm going to choose two columns. And in this first column here, I'm going to choose my image. I'm going to select it. And I'm just going to add the same image as I've just added here. Go ahead and select that. And then save. And then over here is where I would add my text module. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one here just to save me time. So Command C, Command V. Now, although these look similar, they are definitely different. So let's go now to our mobile view. Okay, so you can see here that these pretty much look very, very similar, but they're actually different in the way they were created. So this one here is going to definitely have less code because this is using Flexbox and this one here is using two columns. And if I come over here, you're going to see these two columns there like that. And this is just adding more code to your design. So I'm going to close out of that. And then I'm going to show you the top one. And you're going to notice now that on this top one here, all you have is one column. Now, where things get more complicated is, let's say you want these two uh, columns here side by side. How would you do that? Well, to my knowledge, the only way you can achieve that is by using Flexbox because there's no way you can get this information and this information side by side. So all you have to do if you're using Flexbox is you'd come over here to your section settings, advanced, custom CSS, and you can just add your display flex like that. And now you can see everything is in a straight line. Of course, you can further go in and then customize this and make it look, you know, however you want it to look. Now, let's do something a bit more advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need this anymore. So let's say I want to add another element in this row, but I do not want to add another column. 
So what I'll do is I'll come over here, click on this plus button, and let's say this time I wanna add a call to action. So I'm gonna search for call to action here, like that. And uh, I'm just gonna reduce this text a little bit. And let's, okay, our title is there already, that's great. And then over here on the link, I'm just gonna add a button link here just to make this uh, design look much, much better. Okay, great. So now I have that design, but I want to have this just below this information here so that I can have two items at the top and one big one on the bottom. And again, the only way to achieve this is by using Flexbox. I'm gonna come over here to my row settings and I'm gonna go into this column right here. Click on this gear icon, go to advanced, custom CSS, and now I'm gonna add one more parameter here and this is going to be called uh, CSS wrap. Okay, so now you can see everything is below each other. But to make this really work, I need to go in now and enter my sizes manually. So I'm gonna save this, save this one more time, and I'm gonna start here with the image. I'm gonna click here, go to design, sizing, and I'm gonna set this to, let's say 48%, or let's say 46%, like that. And now you can see already it has taken that space for 46%. But our text here is also at 100%. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna hover over here, click on this gear icon, and this time I'm gonna go to design, sizing, and I'm gonna set this to 46% as well. And now you can see it's gone into position and automatically the one here on the bottom is going to snap into position because this is going to be 100% by default. Of course, I can uh, increase this, uh, make it 48, uh, just so that it's taking uh, enough space. So 48 is going to work great and I can do the same for this one as well. So I'm going to go to sizing, set this to 48, like that, and then save. So now you can see we've added our information and now I've managed to place things where, they, uh, where I need them to go. So when you design using Flexbox and DV, you wanna make sure that you go to your uh, mobile devices and make sure everything is looking great. And you can see here, this is beautiful. And definitely this is going to load even faster because we have less code used on this page. Although we can use Flexbox in this way, ideally it would be really nice if Elegant Themes added this into the Divi Builder itself so everything could be visual, making it easy for us to choose our options visually. Because sometimes with the coding, you have to go and research the codes and then paste it in, but eventually you will get there, but I'm really looking forward to the day that this is going to be added in the Divi Builder. Don't forget that if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you my Divi Jumpstart course, a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. If you have qu any questions about, if you have any questions about Flexbox or anything else, leave your comments in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.